Racks make it easy to layer instruments and create complex modular environments. This is great for creating unique textures or injecting new life into older instruments. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of layering and routing instruments while exploring a few creative possibilities. Let's get started by loading an empty rack. Simply drag the plugin object onto a track, navigate to Plugin Racks, and select Create New Empty Rack. Let's now open the rack and give it a name. Using the plugin object, I'm going to load an instance of Massive. I'll choose to leave this unconnected as we'll wire it up later on. I'll now load a preset. Next, we'll load an instance of the RetroMod Low Freak Modern plugin and load a preset. And finally, let's load an instance of Waveform Subtractive Synthesizer and again choose a preset. It's now time to start wiring these instruments up and we'll start with the MIDI. Simply drag the MIDI input to the input of each of our instruments. This will allow us to trigger them simultaneously. To hear the instruments, we'll need to first connect their audio outputs to the output of our track. Now, if I hold a key on my MIDI controller, we should hear them all. We can enable and disable each instrument with a simple right click. This is useful when auditioning presets or tweaking individual sounds. To give us more control over our layered instrument, I'm going to add a series of volume and pan plugins. But first, I'll clear the output wiring. Using the plugin object, I'll load an instance of Waveform's volume and pan plugin. We'll need one for each instrument, so let's duplicate this instance by highlighting it and holding Command C to copy it. Now, click anywhere within the rack, press Command V twice, and the other two instances appear. We'll now hook up the outputs of our instruments to the inputs of the volume and pan plugins. And then the outputs of the volume and pan plugins to the track output. We now have full control over the levels and stereo positioning of each of our three instrument plugins. We can also get a little creative with MIDI by connecting a variety of MIDI tools. I'm going to add three MIDI modifier instances, but first I'll clear the input wiring. Now I'll load an instance of Waveform's MIDI modifier plugin. As with the Volume and Pan plugin, I'll copy this by holding Command C and duplicating it twice with Command V. Let's now wire things back up. With the MIDI input, go into the MIDI Modifiers input, and the MIDI Modifiers output, go into the MIDI input of our instruments. If I hold down a key on my MIDI controller, we can hear nothing has changed. So let's open each instance of the MIDI modifier plugin and make some changes. I'll first open the instance connected to our RetroMod instrument and lower it 12 semitones. This will form the basis of our low end. I'll now open the MIDI modifier connected to Massive and raise it three semitones, creating a minor third interval. And finally, let's open the MIDI modifier connected to Subtractive and raise it seven semitones. Let's take a listen and tweak some of those levels again. This is starting to sound pretty interesting, and just to be clear, I'm only holding one note at a time on my MIDI controller. I feel the instrument would benefit from some reverb, so let's again clear the output wiring and load an instance of the Door Essentials Reverberate.
We'll now wire up the outputs of our volume and pan plugins to the inputs of our reverb. And then finally, the output of our reverb to the track output. Let's take a listen while tweaking the reverb settings. That's sounding pretty nice, so I think it's time we save this for future recall. With the rack selected, click Save, and then Create New Preset. The Preset Details window allows us to name, add a description, and add tags, making it easy to find and recall this preset in future edits. Click OK, and it's saved. We'll test this by loading our preset into a new edit. Simply drag the preset from the browser onto a track, and the rack opens. This video only scrapes the surface of what's possible with racks. By utilising modifiers, macro parameters and faceplates, you can create truly amazing modular environments. Go ahead, experiment and have fun. Thanks for watching.